Evening, the United Farm Workers Labor Union will be seeing a change with its top leadership for the first time since Cesar Chavez led that organization. 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson joins us live from downtown Bakersfield with more on a history making decision. Brandon. Yeah, good evening, Tim and Jessica. The UFW will be hosting a Journey to Justice bike ride here at Mill Creek Church. That's set to get underway just this hour. And uh, part of that, of the bike ride, is going to be focusing on raising awareness about immigration reform. That is something that's set to continue to be a hot topic within the union as a new president takes over. Tonight, a change in leadership announced for one of California's most prominent unions. And at the end of this year, I will step down as president of the United Farm Workers. Arturo Rodriguez, president of the United Farm Workers for the last 25 years, set to step down in December. Well, you know, we feel very comfortable as a leadership team in the strength of the organization right now to make a transition. That transition leads to Teresa Romero. I have been working with the union for nine years. She currently serves as the union secretary treasurer, but in a matter of months, she'll take over as president and make history in the process. I was born in Mexico City, grew up in Guadalajara, um, came here in my early 20s. The executive board of the union pegged Romero to take over as president, and the union says that the 60-year-old will be the first Latina to serve as the president of a U.S. national union, and the first immigrant woman to do so too. I identify with the union. You know, I'm an immigrant. I came to this country going through the things that farm workers go through right now, not speaking the language, a different culture, different country, not knowing people. So I identify with them, and, and I, I truly know what they're going through. The 69-year-old Rodriguez Rodriguez will leave behind over 45 years with the organization, but he actually first became involved in leadership due to necessity. And at that particular time, we hadn't prepared. We were not ever thinking that Cesar would die that young in his life. Cesar Chavez, co-founder of the union, passed away in 1993, thrusting Rodriguez into the role of president. Since then, he's seen the ups and downs of the union, praising recent work like the passing of overtime laws for farm workers and protection from heat stress. The kind of work that Romero says she plans to sustain while bringing a continued focus on immigration reform. The work that we do in the union, the work that I personally do is always it, keeping in mind that we're doing it for the benefit of farm workers. Again, that event set to kick off here at the top of the hour with a focus on immigration reform, which they, which Romero says will be a continued focus of hers again. Rodriguez all set to step down on December 20th of this year. For now in downtown Bakersfield, Brandon Johansson, 23ABC News.